This is a Still BR-106. And that is the gas tank of the Still BR-106. So, as you can tell, it has a broken gas tank. Anyway, so I can't get any reproduction gas tanks aftermarket, so I'm going to have to fit my own gas tank. The closest gas tank that I could find is this one. It fits, kind of. Um, sticks out a little bit, but I think it would be fine. I just have to figure out a way to mount it. The original gas tank mounts with this bracket with two screws, two rubber things against this back thing. So if I can somehow make this gas tank fit with these two screws and a bracket that comes up and hooks into here, that would be very good. I'm also going to have to put something in behind here as it still wiggles around. And I'm not quite sure how to solve that because it makes it sit like this and that doesn't look any good. So I think I'm gonna start on this and I'm also gonna have to clean it up before I put it all together finally. Almost lost another tank, gas tank. So yeah, this gas tank, junk. Sorry for the messy shot. Okay, first things first, I think I'm gonna work on mounting this tank. I start it on the back so it doesn't sit crooked. So, a bit like this. That fuel line's gonna have to go in there later. But, um, if it's sitting like this, try and get it as flush as we can on that side. It's pretty good. Sits roughly, but we have to put something in there and block it out. So, I think I can do that. Mark. Safety glasses. And cut. <laughs> again and now I have this which is starting to get closer to what I need and now I have this it's getting closer again so I just did bend it one more time cut it one more time drill it and the back piece is done another bend later and I have this thing so now I need to cut uh, ears into it and then drill two holes paint it and this is done and now I have this which is really starting to look like what I want it to look like. So uh, now I'm gonna drill two holes and then I might have to cut this tank, but yeah. Center punched and we have two holes. And it mounts on. The gas tank fits as planned and is like equal the whole distance. I just have to put rubber on it and make a front bracket. Well, I have the other bracket drying uh, for paint, I am going to clean this. One, two, three. There we go. That is clean. I'm um, working on the gas tank, but I'm still waiting on the bracket to dry. I just had lunch, and this is dry now. I think it looks pretty good. It looks like a gas tank bracket. And it's now mounted, and everything fits and works. So now I have to make the outside bracket. That is the rubber material that will soon be protecting your gas tank from having to mount. And I have rubber. There, I have the gas tank in place, and it's fairly clean. Besides that, uh, it's a little bit yellow, but that's okay. Uh, if you can see, there is rubber in between the metal and the plastic everywhere, so it shouldn't wear through the plastic anymore. Well, it's running the motor's very smooth anyway, so I don't think it would do too much over the course of a few years, but, you know, just for in case. As you can see, it's sitting equal all the way across. And now I'm gonna start making this mount. So as I said before, this mount used to go like this and it would be flush like that and then up and there are two rubbers that would go in these little holes. My idea or my plan is to um, put a mount here, 
that comes up, over, up, and then sits in this groove here. So kind of like the back one, except on the front, and it should hopefully be less difficult to make. Marked, safety, cut! And we have this, which is not done yet, but like that. And now we just would bend it. I don't even think I have to bend it again. Just one more time. And then it should be good. Hopefully. Well, that kind of sucks. Threw a glove. Anyway, we got it bent. <laughs> Only had to whack my thumb once, but I have got a bracket. I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to drill two holes, paint it, and call it a bracket. Because that's what it is. A really smart person would measure to the center, put the original bracket on, then I wouldn't even have to measure the holes. Alrighty, there it is all painted up. So I'm just gonna let that dry for a minute and then I will slam it on the machine. And just like that, I have the gas tank mounted. I have the rear bracket on with the rubber in between there. And I have the front bracket now mounted and there's also a strip of rubber going through here so that will not yeah, wreck the gas tank either. Uh, as you see, it is mounted just as solid as the other one. So the last thing I have to do is just hook up this fuel line just onto the curb. So I'm just going to pull this cover off and the whole thing comes off. So I'll do that and then I will test it and make sure it all works. Fuel line is now on and you can see it run up there and go in behind there. You can see it's beside the the throttle cable. It's a bit of a pain, but um, now I when this focuses, I'm gonna put the shroud back on here. In three, two, one. Here we go. Shroud's back on. Everything works. Fuel line on. Gas tank on. Now, I think the only thing left to do is test it out. As you saw, gas tank works. It like still sucks fuel, I guess. Um, you can still refuel it here on the side. Bring the gas cap off on one hand. Gas cap still comes off. You can still see into the gas tank. And uh, yeah, everything is just as it was before, except you have some more capacity. So that was easy enough to make, and uh, I would recommend putting other gas tanks on some older equipment. I know, especially skit stills, the uh, gas tanks on whippersnippers, they're always breaking. They get brittle and yellow like this one, except this one's still soft. And then people drop them or whatever and they, they break just from the sun and use. But um, this one, I don't know what happened to it for the gas tank to end up like this. I've had the thing for three years, I think now. And it was always leaking when I had it, but then this year, I guess it opened up a lot. Um, so I recommend doing this if you have a whippersnipper or something. I've done it to a few uh, Echoes. They've had a few broken gas tanks and I've been able to put some other gas tanks on it. I'm lucky this um, fuel tank here is very close to the original one. It's just a little bit wider. So I was just able to make those two mounts, mount it on, put the fuel line back on. But um, I'm not sure where I got this from, but it was in my collection fuel tanks, so uh, works. So please like and subscribe. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just, I hope it's very short of just, you know, me putting a different gas tank on. <laughs>
So, uh, yeah, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.